Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news that China is suddenly starting to spend up big on stimulus projects. But first, the important non-farm payrolls report out Saturday morning showed that the US economy added just 214,000 jobs in October, while the unemployment rate fell to 5.8%. New Zealand's at 5.4% and Australia's at 6.2%. That jobs growth number was well below expectations and markets were unimpressed, frustrated that this shows momentum is slowing in the giant American economy. Annual growth in China's exports and imports slowed as well in October, data showed on Saturday, reinforcing signs that fragility in the world's second largest economy is growing as well. That is prompting policymakers to roll out more stimulus measures. Exports were up 11.5% year on year and imports up just 4.6%, with neither number impressing observers. The September, that's the earlier month rise in exports, was 15%, and for imports it was 7 China approved more than $100 billion worth of infrastructure projects in late October and early November, state media said on Saturday. Significant action is being taken to suddenly bolster slowing growth in the world's second largest economy. China will also spend $40 billion to set up a Silk Road infrastructure fund to boost, boost connections across Asia. In Australia, banks are well enough capitalised to withstand a severe shock to their economy, but poorly prepared to recover from a financial crisis. That's the view of their regulator, APRA. In New York, US Treasury 10-year bond yields took a steep dive on Friday to end the week at 2.30%, following the lower than expected American employment levels. The oil price was unchanged at the end of the week, holding to its new lower levels at just over $78 a barrel and the Brent price just over $83 a barrel. The gold price, however, jumped more than $25 to $1,170 an ounce. New Zealand dollar also gained a little at the end of trading in New York on Saturday, and we start the week at 77.8 US cents, 89.9 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 76.8. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.